you know, he's, he's, this is what, you know, if it were politics, we'd say this is a negative campaign. He's got nothing good to say about his side, but he's got lots of bad things to say about the other guy. And it doesn't matter how true they are or not. Uh, the other thing is, is I was astounded that he repeated a very common misconception. He thought I was admitting that there was a problem with evolution because I called it a theory. Uh, a theory is a good thing. A theory is a powerful thing. In science, a theory is an idea, a conceptual framework that integrates a large body of evidence, has a lot of explanatory power, brings many different ideas together, and allows you to make predictions. So when scientists are sitting there calling the evolution a theory, they're not saying it's a guess or that it's flawed. They're saying this is a powerful tool that we use in our work. That's what it means to a scientist, and, and, and I'm just kind of surprised that Dr. Simmons is not aware of this. But anyway, uh, the other part of his argument is this claim that the fossil record is incomplete. Of course it is. I mean, it's, it's impossible for every single individual in the entire history of life to leave clear remains, or we'd be, you know, we'd be buried in bones right now. Most individuals, when they die, rot and disappear, and you don't see any trace of them ever again. So, of course, it's going to be spotty. However, he was completely wrong when he said that the fossil record has become more incomplete since Darwin's time. Uh, that, that doesn't even make logical sense. The fossil record has grown and grown. We have collected more and more specimens. Uh, at the time of Charles Darwin, for instance, roughly about the time he published is when they first discovered Neanderthal, and this was the only fossil hominid that was known at that time. Now we've got thousands. We've got boxes full of these things. We've got all kinds of transitional forms in the human lineage. So, of course, it's gotten better. Okay. Uh, he, said, he said specifically that there are no fossils of giraffes or whales, and this is also false. We've got good fossils of the giraffe lineage. It's a typical artiodactyl. We've got lots of specimens uh, from this particular group. Uh, in the case of whales, whales are, are a major success story in evolution. Uh, since the early 80s, we've been recovering lots and lots of fossils. Uh, the, the secret was that we discovered where whales evolved. Whales evolved in a shallow sea between India and the mainland of Asia that existed 50 million years ago. And when we started digging in Pakistan, they started digging up buckets full of whale fossils. Okay. The latest was just announced last month in December. It was a, a new specimen called Indohyus. So we, we've got lots of whale transitional fossils. Okay, so uh, uh, Dr. Myers is essentially just stating that, uh, uh, Dr. Simmons, you did not support uh, your side. You only shot holes in Darwinism. Mm -hmm. He also said that uh, uh, it's, you know, the, the word theory is not a pejorative you know, in terms mm -hmm. of what's going on in science. He said uh, that uh, the fossil records... Uh, that there are thousands of transitional fossils, spoke about giraffes, and then whales is perhaps an example of a transitional fossil. How do you want to go a bit about addressing those? Yeah, I don't know where to start first. Uh, first of all, there are no giraffe neck, pre-neck fossils, and he's very wrong about whale fossils. Yeah, there are whale bones that have been found, but the closest they can get to that is this uh, deer-like animal that was on the sea shore. And so, no, there are no animals with blowholes, and there's no animals that can dive deep like whales can. It's a giant step from what they have to what we have now. And so he's very wrong on that. And when it comes to numbers... Uh, fossils. There's about 2 million species known. They think it'll go to 100 million when we get all the viruses named. There's only about a quarter of a million fossils in all these boxes. So do the math. One and three quarters million missing. Maybe as many as 98 million species missing, and that's missing intermediates. And the word design also is not a pejorative term. Uh, just like theory is not a pejorative term, open any science textbook and you'll find the mouth is designed to chew and the eyes are designed to see. So there's nothing wrong with using the word design. And no, my position is not to defend intelligent design. I can give the listeners a place to go and get all the information they want on it. But my position and both my books have been Darwin's theory is full of holes. It's just like the emperor with no clothes. And not only the Darwin from past, but the Darwin from present, whoever they are. And there's other agendas that are going on here. 
It's not a matter of fact. Uh, if it were a fact, they call it a fact of evolution. And the the issue I think, PZ, that some have about this is the uh, is that Darwinism is only taught in schools, and so these uh, shortcomings I don't believe are being taught. And so a lot not at all. Of, but, wait, wait, wait. What what shortcomings? Uh, Doctor Simmons just made stuff up. Well, uh, for instance, the whale fossils. There. It's not a jump from Indo-Highest to modern whales. What about Pachycetus? What about Rhodocetus? Have you heard of those? I don't know every fossil name, but I do know. <laughs> no, no, you no, have no. just you know what? you have just announced that there are no transitional whales. No, no, no. I just read an article in Scientific American less than six months ago about exactly what scientists think. Uh, uh, the whales came from. And so whatever names were in there were the most current names at that time, and I'm sure it was a peer of your uh, stature. And they do not have they do not have anything with a blowhole on top of it. They do not have anything with wait, they do not have anything with fins that go up and down, which is opposite of what fish do. And in fact Darwin in his, in his book Origin of Species he had in it that the bears went to sea with their mouths open, and that's how they became whales. That had to yes, be like retracted. I said, we, we do not care about Darwin. Darwin made many mistakes, and that's one of his mistakes. So right. he made a uh, however, uh, your your ignorance about the state of the fossil record is not evidence that there are holes in evolutionary theory. I, 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 seriously, when you when you look at the whale fossil record, what you find is you find a range of skulls, you find transitional forms. One of the features that they note in these lists of fossils is the steady backwards and dorsal migration of the nostrils. So there is uh, the formation of the blowholes. Yeah, well, you'll have to send me the citation on that. And and I, 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 would, have prefer, you, have you read, I would prefer I, 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 you not drop to ignorant terms like, or to using terms like that and keep this, you know, a little nicer tone. Yeah, let's try to yeah. remain civil. And uh, we have to go to a break. We have... Uh, uh, we're gonna have these, um, you know, th- we have a runway that we have to deal with here, and, and we're running out of time right now for this break. But let's come back and and, uh, and Dr. Simmons, you can address uh, an issue for uh, PZ, Dr. Uh, Myers, and you can uh, you can respond to that then, Dr. Myers. Okay, we'll do that right after breaks. Uh, it is KKMS live again? If you miss any portion of this, we do get the audio posted back up on the website at kkms.com. Also, but the website we do have links for uh, both our guests and their uh, with the topics of discussion. If you would like to research it uh, more fully yourself. Stay tuned. More KKMS Live with Jeff and Lee coming right back. KKMS Live with Jeff and Lee. AM 980 KKMS would like to send you backstage at Focus on the Family. You can win lunch for two with Dr. James Dobson, including round-trip airfare, hotel accommodations, and an enjoyable day that includes lunch with Dr. Dobson. Tune in to KKMS Live between 3 and 6 p.m. for details on how you can register to win. Or visit the new KKMS.com for details. After you register, you can watch a short behind-the-scenes backstage video of the ministry. The Focus on the Family Backstage Pass is brought to you by Focus on the Family and AM 980 KKMS. KMS. The woman said, I know that Messiah, called Christ, is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I who speak to you am he. This is KKMS Live with Jeff and Lee. I'm Lee Michaels. And I'm Jeff Shen. We're talking with Dr. P.Z. Myers.